Hi, welcome back to Satoku Tech. I entered a project proposal in the Arduino Cloud Games and my project got selected. So I just received the Opla IoT kit in the mail on Wednesday. Now it's time to unbox it, put it together, and put it through its paces. Okay, the Opla IoT kit comes in this very handsome box. You want to cut the seals open there. Programmable IoT platform. Internet of Things experience in your hands. Oh, it comes with 12 months of the Creator Maker plan. That's 12 months of free access to the Arduino Cloud. Very impressive packaging. Let's get all the parts out here. There's the case. Nice sturdy case for it. Oh, that's interesting. So we've got, here's a motion sensor. And what else do we have here? Capacitive soil moisture sensor. And you've got this Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1010. And then here is the Opla IoT. And it, basically, it's got all the rest of the stuff that you want there. Oh, good. It's got this 18650 battery holder. That's nice. There you can see three Grove connectors. There's a buzzer on here somewhere, a couple of relays. Oh, SD card slot. And of course, you've got the display, and you've got five capacitive buttons on the front. Oh, how sweet. It's an Arduino wristband. And we've got some cables here. There's a USB cable, some Grove cables. Oh, I, that's that little power jumper there. Make sure you don't lose that little power cord. That's uh, to connect the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 to the Opla kit. Yeah, see right here is the code for your Maker Plan free 12 months. When you're at the Arduino Cloud website, you have to sign up and you have to say, I want the monthly Maker Plan when you go to use this code. Yeah, don't, don't select the annual option. The code only works with the monthly option. There's everything that's in the box. Let's put it together. And we're going to go ahead and mount the Maker Wi-Fi 1010 onto the back of the Opla kit here. Just line it up like so and pop those pins down into the header just like that. Now this is the power cable that joins the Opla kit to the Maker 1010, providing power to both of them. Now that 18650 battery, I just happened to buy those recently for a different project idea I had. I haven't gotten to implement them yet, but I was happy to see that this actually had a battery holder for this type of battery. So make sure to align the positive side correctly. I'm going to peel off the screen protector here. There's a little light shining, but there's I don't believe there's any sketch installed on the Maker Wi-Fi 1010, so it's not really going to do anything. Make a note here, there's an SD card slot on the bottom there, and if you mount this into the case, you probably want to put your SD card in there first because uh, there's no access from the outside of the Opla case to install a new TF card in that TF card holder there. Now there's three screws, and we're just going to Go ahead and secure the Opla into the carrier because, well, it's going to be on a rocket and I don't want this thing flying around loose. I figure it's probably safest in the case. Yeah, if you watch my video, my project proposal is to put this in a rocket with its own cellular Wi-Fi hotspot on the rocket. So you're going to want to stay tuned. Okay, that's one screw in there. There's the second screw going in. That was a little easier than the first one. Okay, good. We got all three screws in. So that's secure in the case. Yeah, I'm going to tighten this up again just to make sure. I don't want it rattling around. There we go. Tuck that power cord out of the way. There's a little notch that lines up. At the top of the case, it's labeled top. You can see top there on the back. And there's top on the front as well. The case back just snaps on and off. There's your Grove port 
connectors, two relay connectors, and let's see, yeah, the SD card slot is covered anyway. And then, of course, the USB port there, you just saw that briefly. That's so you can connect your Maker Wi-Fi 1010 to your PC for transferring sketches, etc. Previously, I showed you how to use the Arduino IoT Cloud and the Arduino Web Editor. So you're going to want to familiarize yourself with those. I'm not going to go into those in detail in this video. So here is getting started with the Opla IoT Carrier. This build-it-yourself link takes you to complete instructions on assembling your Opla IoT Carrier and constructing your first sketch to test out all the functionality of the Opla. They have the code for the sketch broken out into several different code snippets and they are proposing that you learn about it by copying and pasting each of these into a bigger sketch. But if you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you can just download the entire sketch, which that's what I'm going to do. And what's interesting is this will download as a zip file. It'll include all of the include files and the Arduino web editor actually imports this zip file. Yeah, you click on import and it says, yeah, you, you can upload libraries in just zip while sketches can be zip, INO or PDE. Somebody leave a comment down below on what PDE is. I'm not familiar with that. Okay, we've imported that example sketch and this is going to check out all the functionality of the Opla IoT kit. You have to make sure you have the Arduino agent installed. That's how you can connect with the web editor and you see here my Arduino Maker Wi-Fi 1010 is connected on COM6 and there goes the upload. Yeah one thing I missed here is you have to make sure the carrier case is set to true if you have the Opla IoT installed in the case that increases the sensitivity of the capacitive touch buttons so that the touch buttons still work even though the case is attached to the Opla kit. Okay here goes. Okay so we sent the sketch and here you can see the Opla IoT kit is loading up. All right they're gonna test all of the hardware here. Gotta press all the buttons Okay, there, all the buttons are pressed. Here's the temperature. Whoa, it's kind of hot. I don't even have the heat running. Humidity, it's a little dry. Pressure, well, oh good. Check out the motion. Uh, this is the IMU sensor. Color detection. This took a few minutes. You had to put a white object over the color sensor to calibrate it. And I used a white sheet of paper. Perhaps you need something a little more opaque. But finally, after a few minutes, it says, hey, the color sensor's working. And now I realize that I should have attached the motion sensor. It's actually external to the Opla IoT kit, and it connects via one of those Grove cables. So we're going to let the example sketch be as is and continue to work on our project now. Okay, so we got to unbox and check out the base functionality of the Opla IoT kit. You'll want to stay tuned because next I'm going to connect this Opla to the Arduino IoT cloud, just like I did with the Arduino RP2040 Connect before. And then we're going to start figuring out how to put all of this in a rocket. Okay, so give this video a like. Comment down below on what your Arduino Cloud Games project is. And before you go on to watch more of my Arduino videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.